Alright, so this is the Black Hawk Down map making tutorial. I was just going to go through some general things about this. This is the program here. You'll start with a black screen with a green box around it. Uh, first, you got to pick your scenario, your map. Uh, so you go into edit up here and you go down to general information. That'll bring up this screen here. Um, right over here, it says Mission Terrain. You go into there, and you'll find every single one of these is a different map, <clears throat> a different layout. So you can go with Flat, and we'll just see what that is. So there you are, completely flat. Up here in the top left, uh, the view you have right now is uh, this box right here it says C on it you can go press H as well and that's elevation see right now you don't see any change in elevation it's just green just a dull green no change in color which means no elevation so it is flat uh, and then D can't remember what that is anyways we'll go back to C here and that shows what uh, the terrain looks like as well the color and everything uh, so, I guess, what are we going to make here? Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to show you a different kind of map. Somebody asked me before once uh, about my videos, and they asked how I got an island map. So we're just going to go back to general information. We're going to go into the map layout here, and we're just going to try to find something. The one right at the bottom here, it says zoo. We'll press that, see what that looks like, and there it is. So right here is an island. Now they were complaining, or he had a problem, he said he couldn't find any island maps, so a lot of them start out. I'm just going to try a different one here. Yeah, so they start out with just land and you can't see any water so that was the problem yeah here's an example so this map this is all land no water but just see that this kind of looks like a river here but there is no water in it so in order to get water in it you go to general information see up in the top right here it says water level you put a check mark click for a check mark so that now water is in effect and you select a depth so we'll go with 50 and now the blue appears that's how much water we have that's what we're looking at uh, now if you want to go for more let's just raise it to let's say 60 and see what it looks like see now there's water in more spots now and you could completely cover the whole land uh, let's say I'm guessing with a hundred oh almost so you're getting little bits of land sticking out from there so that's how you do the water thing that's how you can get islands so let's just go back to the flat map that's easiest to work with. Um, also in this window, in the general information, uh, you have the type of game you're playing. So the map types right here, it says you can go cooperative, deathmatch, team deathmatch, king of the hill, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that only, if you click one of those, you can't play it on single player in your game. You, it'll only work on uh, online games. So once you put that there, it won't show up in your, your single player map selection, so you can't play it. So just if you want to play the game that you make by yourself on single player, uh, don't touch any of that stuff, because it'll change it. And so here's the flat again. Now, what you can do to insert things, uh, you could go into edit and you could press insert mode but that's that takes a long time or it'll slow you down if you really want to do quick stuff so what I do is on your keyboard there's the insert button you just press that now you're on insert mode now wherever you click on the screen this will come up and this is your selection of anything you want to put on the map so foliage and they'll have little pictures here to show you what it is and you could just put it on let's uh let's put a vehicle let's say a black hawk black hawk helicopter yeah, let's 
let's go with that one. So there it is. You'll see it. And uh, also some of the controls to move it around. So that's you can see on the map is uh, on the far right side of your keyboard. They have plus and minus sign. Plus goes in, minus goes out, and the directional keys moves around. Now, if you want to zoom into something really close here, and you want to just move over a little bit, but it ends up moving over a lot and you don't want that, you can go right up to here, see where it says 512 meters. Um, you just press minus, and the grid will get smaller, and this will allow you to move, you know, smaller distance. And so you get greater detail if you want to place somebody right inside the helicopter here and in fact we'll do that see we're still in insert mode so I'm just gonna press that I'm gonna go to people and we'll put the 10th mountain teammate number two now you see that green that's him right there I'm just gonna click that it's gonna go yellow um, now I want to rotate him so he's facing this way and to do that I right click on the mouse and I'll say group rotate just press that and you'll get this screen here and you'll see it moving as I press it here you'll see one two three I just moved it 90 degrees press OK so now this guy is facing that way um, so yes and you also need to place a start marker, a player start marker. If you want to play this map, you have to place a player start marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I'm not in insert mode. Um, so go in insert mode. We'll insert, and you go to markers. And then it'll say right here, it says player start marker. You press that, OK. And that's the player start marker right there. This thing right here. So that's where you're going to be, and you're going to be facing north. Um, we'll just rotate you so you're facing the helicopter. It doesn't really make a difference. And now what I always do when I'm making a map is I check my games for flaws as I go on so I can fix it right away and then continue with my game. So you don't have to make a whole entire map before you play it the first time. So what I'm going to do to get this into your Black Hawk Down game where you can play it, you go to file, you go to save and export with stats, you press that and it'll come up with the save screen, you call it whatever you want, I'll put starter map. So we're saving that and then it'll say mission saved and exported successfully. So you press OK and now you go to single player and right here is where your other maps are for that come with the game and this right here instant action these are all the games that I've made I've all those here so I'm gonna look for starter map and that's it right there so I'm gonna press that okay doesn't matter what weapons I have and we're starting so now you're gonna get to see what you've made like what it looks like so it'll just be a helicopter with one guy in it, and I placed him so that he is on the minigun of the helicopter. And you'll see that as I walk up to it. And now the helicopter will start rotating the blades, but it won't be going anywhere, because I didn't tell it to go anywhere. And I'll show that in a minute when we go back. I'll, I'll tell him to fly somewhere. So, as you can see, there it is. The land is flat, like I picked and here's the helicopter and there's the guy on the minigun and so it's pretty simple I'm just gonna quit 